is not a movement of parties, but a movement of people. The turnout in the European election is very low. be greener. Taking my bike to go to university. Green jobs. Action on uh, emissions. Green standard. We as youth are demanding a cleaner uh, future and it starts now, you know, it starts with the investments now. Europe has a big role to play on the international climate scene. And the European Union, um, I don't know if you can call it green, I think it can get a lot greener. The European Parliament, it's much greener than, for example, the Commission or the Council. I think that the fact that we in Europe have one of the highest per capita sources of emissions is, is ridiculous and quite disgusting. We really need to be taking that seriously. Europe is, I would say, more green than other continents. It needs to do a lot more and is completely capable of doing a lot more. They've got the resources, they've got the funds, they've got everything they need. They just don't have the willpower, the determination or the guts to get on with it. Some of the issues that will be on the agenda for the incoming European Parliament will be things such as the emissions trading scheme and how to sort of galvanise that to make more of that, how to develop a coherent um, response internationally to the problems of climate change. Climate change is uh, one of the only issues that affects everyone in this planet. They're pledging for minus 30 emission cuts. The European Union could be doing much more. It could be even doing minus 80. And minus 80 is actually what's required if you look at the scientific facts. It's, it's, it, it is easy to have a green life. For masses of the population, Green living is not an option. They don't have the money, they don't have the time, they don't have the resources. When you look at organic food, it is more expensive, but it, it isn't really so. Um, also, cheap food is also expensive, but it's expensive for the environment. Try to buy greener, but anytime there are packages, you, you cannot, you have to recycle them after, but they are still producing this. Is it really necessary to buy new clothes every, uh, every season? If we did invest in renewable energy and, and energy efficiency, that would be hundreds of, of thousands of jobs. A lot of the green legislation um, is being driven by Brussels. All sorts of other technologies, um, on renewable energies especially, um, could be a real driver of jobs across, across the whole of the European Union. Not continue with um, the, the old way, but have more sustainability, more yeah, solar energy. The youth can make a green Europe, I think, and they can do a lot more than they expect.